Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Connor. I'm here with my father, Kevin. And today we are back doing some more Arctic Monkeys. Uh, you loved the last album we did, Favorite Wars Nightmare. You loved it a lot. Loved it a lot. This is the album that kind of put them on the everywhere. Map. On the Not map. on the map. Because no. I'd say they were they were well known, yeah. you know, in the rock scene. But this is what put them in urban outfitters and everywhere yeah you'd see their vinyl pressings at oh, every, oh and like oh it, it like the actual physical record yeah like oh, you go wow. to urban outfitters you see the record there. stand like okay the, this yeah, was yeah. everywhere i thought you meant they were in the store shopping shopping yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah no <laughs> um i just want to clarify i still like uh the two records in between suck it and see and, and humbug but i just felt like um it would be cool to go from Favorite Worst Nightmare, which is very hard and aggressive, to AM, which is a little bit less of that. I won't spoil too much until okay. we get into it. And then finish off, before we get into the newest record, uh, finish off with uh, Tranquility Base Hotel, which is I'm very excited. different. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of my own personal trilogy that I want to show you. If you would like to see this video completely uncut, uh, you can check it out on our Patreon uh, it's linked in the description, $3 a month. You get access to bonus content and you get access to our Discord where you can chat about music, a uh, bunch of other stuff. We got what on there and everything. Dogs, yeah, dogs, dog food, pictures, mental food health, pictures. Yeah, cooking. It's a wild place. Yeah, I recommend checking it out and we're in there chatting and we do Q&As on there every once in a while. So uh, feel free to check that out if that interests you. Track number one. Do I want to know? I don't know why, but I know this riff. You might have heard this. I've song. heard this before. I haven't listened to this here. Have you got color in your cheek? Oh, we need some more heat. You got a little? Do you ever get that feel that you can't shift the tide that sticks around like so much in your tea? Spilling drinks on my settee. Do I want to know if this feeling flows both ways? Fuck, this is great. I, I totally know the riff, I just don't know the song. I've heard that riff, guaranteed. I like the lyrics of this. Yeah. Yeah. So have you got the goods? Been wondering if your heart's still open and if so I wanna know what time it should. Fuck, I love the space, man. Yeah, the spacing throughout the yeah. the drums and the vocals. Nice BGs. Really nice, nice mix, man. Yeah, it's beautifully mixed. Yeah. I love this. That do you want? Those background vocals. Yes. Yeah. Okay. This is where I said in a couple videos earlier before, if you can sing a riff, if a crowd can sing a riff, I, th <laughs> that would be a riff you would go like that. It's, it, it's super catchy. It's weird because I've heard that riff. Mm -hmm, but you haven't heard the song. I haven't heard the song. Like I, You've I, probably heard it on the radio or in a commercial or, or something. something. Yeah. It's, it's got 1.4 1. 1. billion plays. Holy so, shit. Yeah, it's a pretty popular song. I'd yeah, say. I could see how this uh, that song there would be... Like you said, uh, 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 what was you called it earlier? Opening box, you know, spreading the world, uh, spreading your legs. What was it called? Huh? You said it sort of made them go. Oh, the album. <laughs> yeah, no, it put them uh, <laughs> not on the map. Not but, on the map, but just brought them 
to a whole new level yeah. of fame. Um, this whole album kind of took them from, you know, this cool, yeah, decently well-known rock band to like superstars. Really, I could hear that man. That mix was absolutely brilliant, right? And totally, totally different than favorite worst nightmare. Track number two, "Are You Mine." <laughs> I'm a puppet on a string Tracy Island, time traveling Diamond could have shaped heartaches To come to find you My mind when she's not right There beside me I go crazy Cause here isn't where I wanna be And satisfaction Feels like I just remember Okay, the drummer's back Yeah Yeah myself alright My eyes fill, man all right, this guy's uh, back, man. This is this is the this is the yeah. favorite and worst drumming. But just this riff is so. I love it. Nice. Oh man. The grindy, dirty bass, hey? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right, right around the kid, eh? Yeah. A lot of relationship here in these two songs, eh? Oh. She's a silver lining, lone ranger riding through an open space. In my mind, when she's not right there beside me, I go Fuck it, this is badass, eh? <laughs> it's really cool. Oh fuck! That was man. That was serious ball knocking. Yeah, that was killer. <laughs> I love the breakdown right before the end where it goes. It pans two different guitars and then right you, in the middle. Then right in the middle is like the, the distorted bass. Yeah, and then uh, and then he does that whole quick verse of, of with nothing, and then the drums just boom right yeah. back in. That's that. That's basically the same type of mic too. The treatment that uh, Damon used last night. I was telling you one of the corded mics with the little thing. He's oh like, yeah. No, oh, yeah. Yeah, what kind of mic is that? It's like a old school. I call it an auction mic. It's got the curly peg on it. It's like mm. I don't know and what you it, hold it like. You this. hold it like this, yeah. And he's got that. You know that. I used to do it like this. I go, oh, sure, boy. I want. If I, if I had a sure, right? Yeah. And pretending you used to squeeze them and go. I want it. <laughs> it doesn't sound as good though. <laughs> Very cheap, but that is a rock and roll song. Yeah, rock and roll. I, I know I'm fucking date like I'm. I'm way behind the times, but I just want to say rock and roll is not dead. Track number three, One for the Road. This is fat. The bass? Yeah. Like, it's fat and dirty listen to that do you see how this had more appeal commercially than uh, oh yeah favorite yeah. or nightmare yeah yeah and you know what it is it's in the structure of the drums yeah and, and the grooves these grooves are listen to it well the grooves are, are just so catchy They're yeah cat yeah more catchy than some of the choruses honestly yeah I was just going to say, this song needs a guitar solo, I see. <laughs> oh, you can see it on Genius? Yeah, it says guitar solo. Fuck, it's so nice to hear a guitar solo back. Uh, yeah. They dropped them for so long. I don't know why. I don't know, music just took guitar solos out. Wow, that, that's a hard hitter too, man. This is a good album. Yeah, so a far, good yeah. solid rock album, and and the way it is is mixed is like it's. I want to turn it up even louder, 
mm-hmm. because it's mixed so well. You want it you just, just cranked. You just want to fucking grab more of it. Well, you know what, what I, mean? I like about this album so much is um, they're able to make a, a fantastic rock album, uh, but at the same time, you know, or let me rephrase this: they're able to make these more accessible poppy kind of rock tunes Mm -hmm. but without losing the grit and the sound track number four arabella everything's sitting around like a i'm I'm gonna guess it about 120 uh, Mm, beats per minute yeah yeah yeah, something about like that's trippy <laughs> let's give me a bit of feel of what's coming up over there spacey mm-hmm. <laughs> But uh, great guitar sounds. Yeah. Arabella's got a seven seas head. But she's a modern lover. It's an exploration. She's made of out of space. Listen, he's got that hi hat going. Because those shots, I'd be off too, man. You got to keep that. This is my favorite right here. <laughs> I need that guitar sound once in my life. Oh, I was telling you. There we go. That was a different, a totally different tone, eh? Than the other one, yeah. Than the other, yeah. yeah. Like, it was more of a fuzz. Holy shit! This is like it's it's there it's fast it's intense it's like me me and mom making love, love this song. Yeah, one of my favorites off the actually, record. Actually, love 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 this song, man. That where it's where it comes in with those yeah, and that having the hi hat going for those shots because man, they're those shots are like reminds me of like it reminds me of um, the shots remind me of uh, the the opening shots of War Pigs. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. Black Sabbath. And and one thing I think uh, you know we haven't touched on too much is just Alex Turner's not his lyrics but his uh, his vocal delivery. It's yeah. it's almost like a sing rapping kind of way. I was that's gonna say I was sound I could hear rap on this. Yeah, yeah. No, he's got right? like a, a rap singing. I mean, he's a great singer. You heard him on the new track. That yeah, we yeah, reacted yeah. To. He's a fantastic singer. But yeah. on some of these songs, like with the the pacing and stuff, you yeah. know. Um, yeah. I, I don't know. I just find his vocal performance is is fantastic on this album. Track number five, I want it all. We've listened to a few albums lately who have this. That muse thing I keep talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that. A lot of love on this album. Relationships. That's, that's the main theme. Yeah, yeah, lots of love and... A nice climb there. Yeah. Oh wow, a fade out. Yeah, you'll understand why. Oh, okay. Cool track. It wasn't my favorite on the album so far. Uh it was it was okay. Like it was just there and repetitive a bit. Um 
but I like the elements of it. I love the guitars. I love that. Uh, I love that there uh, there is some guitar solo work yeah. in this. Right, my ear right now is yearning for a, a, a tempo change because I said everything's clocking about the same, and it's about that same thing. So so far the record is at the same thing, and that's cool. But we need a dip, and and we need some kind of dip musically uh, or and tempo change. Something that's you know really a lull, a big breakdown of halftime and ding. ding you know what I mean or whatever yeah just to change just to change things up a bit I don't think there's a change on this record though sadly. it's just straight ahead driving I think, yeah it's it's pretty much straight ahead driving the train whole time okay um track number six number one party anthem so you're on the prowl she left already on now yeah, I lied. There is a tempo change. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is cool because it was getting too much, right? Yeah, this is funny. You brought that up right before this track. It always happens like that. Yep. That was nice. It was a different, it completely changed the pace. Um, yeah, that's that's funny that you said uh, right at track your number five. You're like, we really need something to change the pace here. You just, you know what? You feel it After like you're listening to music enough, and that and that's the way, that's the way that's the way concerts are constructed, right? And you know when you have a lull in the concert, and um, it's probably you're like, why did they play that song? Like why this is not even that popular? There, there's a reason behind it. Yeah, it's to it's to bring that lull because you want to get to a climax, right? Mm. You're trying to build like this, this up and down. Yeah, thing. and you want to make sure that 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 there there's that point there, right? So so here so we, they, we've done five tracks, right? Five tracks of more heavy hitting ones. Yeah, and, and then, then we've slowed down with this one. Yeah, if it if it just went at that pace all the time, that album is just not, and, and that's, you know, they're, they sit there, man, in the studio, and they go, okay, fucking track four's got it. We got to move it up. And then they'll listen to the whole thing as a, as a, you know what I mean? Yeah. Listen to the whole, how does it flow? How does it, you know, how does it make you feel? How does it flow and stuff, right? Track number seven, Mad Sounds. Mad Sounds. In your ears Make you feel alright Love his vocal placement, man. On this track, they yeah. bring you back to life Beautiful. Yeah, they make you get up. Beautiful. Slower pace again. Yeah. This is really the Hammond. The way everybody's introduced took its time. The mix mixed perfectly. Really nice. Nothing's, really, nothing's overpowering. That's awesome, man. Yeah. Then out of, out of nowhere, someone comes and hits you with it. I <laughs> like that. <laughs> this makes me happy. It is. Yeah. It makes me really happy right now. It's a beautiful track. Yeah. I don't know what the mad sounds is. Like, maybe it's like, I don't know if it's something sinister or something, but it, it, the song makes me happy. I think it's the harmonies that really just bring that yeah. happiness. Look at that. It's building. And that. Now that those riffs. This one built beautifully. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And he just had enough time to do that little nice. It just yeah, he just caught it in. Look that. Love it. That was I'm gonna say it, uh, uh that was a nice little ditty. Nice little ditty, yeah. That was really it was it was it was soft and um and 
it's it, it it introduced each thing the Hammond organ uh his voice sounded incredible at, at, with all the with everything pulled back at the beginning would, would you say his voice was mixed better here than on number one party anthem yes yeah yeah because yeah. yeah. number one you said the song was great but the voice his voice was a little muffled whereas this was right front center. yeah they were it, you know yeah no this was right there and i love that when you when you have a voice that's like that but hey that's what you do that's when you build an album you you have the different, different. effects on the vocals and that's what yeah. that's what makes it cool right track number eight fireside Baseline. Yeah, this is, this is really. Yeah, that thing is a nice run there. Another solid track. Track, yeah. no, very 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 solid catchy 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 again the choruses are not these big huge choruses but they're good choruses they they hook you in i can sing it now, you know what i mean yeah after the one listen it's stuck in my head and it's not one it, i love the uh the ending of that track how things start to kind of come together, together yeah, there's, yeah. there's a lot of different instruments going on at once track number nine why'd you only call me when you're high Another beautiful mix. Yeah. The mirror's image tells me it's all time. Now it's three in the morning, and I'm trying to change your mind. Left you multiple missed calls into my message. You reply. Fucking great chorus. Catchy, catchy. High? High. I need a partner. Well, I that little break, eh? Yeah. This is fucking. <laughs> this is really good, catchy man. Instantly catchy. Instantly, yeah. That was great, eh? Yeah. <laughs> there was that hip hop part, eh? Yeah. That's what I say. It's like a rap scene yeah. crossover. Love the Bee Gees there, man. Yeah. That was an ass banger, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was, man, it started out and I was like, okay, whatever. Then it just caught me, man. That chorus is yeah. infectious. It, the chorus is, is, man, really, really good. Okay, that is a, a major catchy, catchy chorus, but it's not one of those ones you annoying, know that I was just talking yeah, about yeah annoying or uh just too repetitive or too yeah, big of a chorus yeah and it's just is that the, is that a big track or is I that i think it's the second or third biggest that, yeah yeah that's that, uh, that feels like one man yeah 900 million plays holy fuck god crazy yeah, numbers this eh? album has a lot of a lot of plays 900 million yeah track number 10 snap out of it Him and Damon like that mic. They love it, yeah. yeah. They should do something together. Yeah. That would be incredible, eh? Wow, <laughs> 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 oh, that was... See how hand claps make it? Yeah. 
Like it gives a live feeling. You're going to, now nah, we're here. It sounds like settling down. How could you be so bad? Hey, wow. Now it's a, that is a dancer. For sure, I yeah. would be dancing on a springy floor. Yeah, like the Commodore. But yeah, yeah. Snap out of it was a really, really good t track, man. It was, it was cool. Yeah, no, this album, uh, like I said, there's uh, a lot of great songs on it. Track number 11, Knee Socks. Well, this just oozes fucking cool sexiness, man. Yeah. Sitting in the corner with the coats all piled high When I thought you might be mine This is a fun track, man. Yeah, his voice right there is just perfect. Yeah. I have a feeling that when he wrote this, he was like, yeah, he went through a really horny period. I think he did. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Needed that, man. Yeah. The breakdown is perfect. Yeah. This must be a singer, man. Like, people must go mental, I think, oh, right? Oh, I'm sure, yeah. yeah. I've never seen him live, but I'd love to. That is... Another banger. Bang, 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 <laughs> bang, fucking bang, 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 <laughs> bang. No, great track, great track. Killer chorus. You know... I'm I'm gonna go. I keep saying I'm gonna go on a limb here, but for me, this is out of the two. This is the Your one favorite I, so far. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Really catchy choruses. Good mixes. Uh, could on a few of the tracks I could have used him out of the right. Yeah. But 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 he he came out of it on this track. Yeah. No. Oh yeah. For sure. Super clear vocals. He was out front and uh, and uh, that was hot. All right. Well, we got one track left. Track. Number 12, I Want to Be Yours. Wow, super tank. Mm -hmm. I want to be a vacuum cleaner, breathing in your dust. If you like your coffee hot. Let me be a coffee pot You call the shots, babe Wanna be yours I wanna be yours I wanna be Let's yours do. Okay Wanna be yours Wanna be yours This is a great track to sum up this album This is a 100% I agree It's saying Everything that's been talked about I wanna be yours Okay I saw all the wanna be yours and thought it would be boring, but it's really because no. it's mixed so well. Yeah. And the fluctuations in it changes it. Wow. <clears throat> that was a that was a killer, killer, killer last track. It yeah. literally summed up everything. He, I said he was horny and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, right. Through it the, finishes off perfectly. He saying, "I want to be your vacuum." And it's this is the lyrics are really hot and sexy. Even though, like, I want to be your vacuum cleaner, breathing in the dust. It's, it's, it. it see, what I went back to like cheesy lyrics. It mm -hmm. could be super cheesy, and but it I've, doesn't come off that. I've way. written my share of cheesy lyrics. Those, it's a vacuum cleaner is like dirty. Yeah. 
Like, and if he would have said something else and used some other analogy, whatever, right? It could have been cheesy. Yeah, yeah. I want to be your hot sauce, uh, whatever, right? Yeah. <laughs> Making your throat hot or whatever, right? <laughs> yeah. But but the vacuum cleaner, your dust, a Ford Cortina that will never rust. I don't know if I've, I, I don't think we have a Cortina over here. I think that's got to be British. Yeah. I, don't, I, I, I haven't I, heard it. Yeah, I know. No. I think I know my cars and I think it must be a British version of a Ford. Um, but uh, I guess maybe it, uh, anyways, coffee pot. Uh, you, it's it's really really hot and it was mixed really well and that I think that is really and I, I want to go back to the chorus I'm talking too fast here because I don't want to forget anything but I want to be yours want to be yours want to be yours want to be yours the each line fluctuated fluctuated and it brought it to the the, the last want to be yours and that's what made it really interesting was having those curves in there because it I was like oh my god it's want to be yours it's gonna be because it started so hot and then I read the chorus and I'm like oh, I want to oh, be yours good. I want to be yours you want to be yours. It would kind of dip off and just I be thought repetitive. it would just be flat but it, but it because those changes and the way they did the, the the heavy vocals in there and the and the spaces in between that was a the, okay those last two tracks are are something for my favorites like yeah finishing well, the album I don't know what it is with Arctic Monkeys but they know how to close an album I mean yeah you think of favorite worst nightmare the last track was 505 yeah yeah so um <laughs> that's something they're pretty good at but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed and uh we have more albums coming out uh so stay tuned uh lots of stuff the month's not even halfway through and we've already got like four videos up so yeah uh, i feel like we're we're doing better we're, we're, we're trying to keep uh keep on a good schedule uh, yeah, and we're keeping i keep knocking off the albums off the list so that's that's one of the things cool right yeah well and when we're when we're both feeling good we try to get as much content out as possible yeah. so then when if we are having an off week it's not the end of the world if we aren't able to film a video yeah. so uh we appreciate everybody that sticks around and uh hope you guys stay safe and uh love you take care take care bye-bye peace